decided to come to Target for whatever reason after work, as you can see. Came to Target today. Oh, I know why I came today because there were some waters. There was a real coupon, a real good coupon. You know, when I see something, I stop and I'm all into it. There's a real good coupon on their cartwheel site for 25% off the sunny water. And I was on Instagram and I saw that one of the Instagram folks I follow had found a really good deal on it. So I decided I wanted to come and check it out and see if I can get me some good, um, a good deal on the sunny water. But of course, because of my, I call it ADD issue, I can't seem to make it right to the water. So I'm currently just walking around looking at whatever. I normally look at the end caps of the store to see what's on clearance and see if there's anything I can use. <laughs> These are cute. Those are cute. It's a nice color. That's this this is machine washable napkins. I like this color. It's like a little mint green kind of color. And it's on sale. That's a decent price. It comes up for account. But right now it's only 15% off. I can wait. I can wait. And if it's still not here, then I don't need it. But what I did pick up. While I was in here, I did pick up some more of my tape. I love these tapes. I picked up that one, and I picked up this one. I love picking up tape. They had a pencil case over there, really cute, an owl pencil case. It was a material pencil case, a cloth, whatever you want to call it, pencil case, but it was $3. I'm still trying to get used to this whole dollar spot thing and the dollar spot being more than a dollar i'm not about that life at all oh this is cute see stuff like this i like and they got a little bit of gold in it it's three dollars now see i would pay three dollars for this i would i would really pay three dollars for this i would paint the wood parts white and leave the gold parts regular i really really like this but i'm not gonna pay three dollars for it today but I really would pay $3 for that. So yeah, this is the 50% off clearance area. And I was looking at these. Let me show you this real quick. So look at this. Do you see that? $15.99 for this one mug. So I was thinking maybe they were talking about all the mugs because they have a few down there. No, they want $15.99 for this one mug. I don't see that. Maybe it's an error. Maybe it's like $5.99 to $1.18, which I still wouldn't pay a dollar for these. But yeah, that's that. They have these cute little forks and spoons. I like buying these things for my niece, but my sister tells me to stop buying her so much stuff. So I'm not going to get that this time. And I think this is really good, but I'm not going to buy it. So you can make your own soups, and I love that soups and smoothies it's a blender but it also heats up and it was originally 120 excuse my ashy cuticles it was originally 120 but now it's on sale for 60 dollars and i think that's a really good price i know you saw it from a distance this is just so cute it's a jury organizer this is so cute not for $8.99, but then they go another arrow. And it's in like a rose copper, a rose gold color, copper color. It's really, really cute. Oh, 70% off. Let's go over here. I love end caps. Do you shop the end caps at Target? This was supposed to be 70% off. Some kind of laundry basket, but I don't think so. What is this? These things are not 70% off. They must be in the wrong area. For sure. And then they got them expensive ass mugs over here again. Waffle maker. I wonder how much are these? Because my niece loves Olaf. $17.48. And it's supposed to be 70% off. Really, guys? 70% off. This is where it's at. And originally, it was $24.99. 
and now it's 1748 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video so I can take a picture that this is in the 70% off area along with this other frozen item so they could give me my 70% off so yeah I took that picture because I definitely needed to make sure they give me my 70% off because then that would make it eight dollars and I would buy a waffle maker for my niece for eight dollars and then I found these cutesy socks for $1.18 they're supposed to be knee-high socks and they got little octopuses and stuff on it. No, I'm not going to do a haul video because I think it's redundant. I'm taking you with me shopping. They have these in the clearance section. The four cups measuring cup. The anchor brand. And I know Olympia was looking for one. Excuse me, y'all. I know Olympia was looking for one for these. These were in the clearance, but I don't see a price on it. So I'm going to just take it over to the price checker and see what the price is going to be. Um, I really wanted to get one of these little garbage pails for my niece because they're supposed to be 70% off, which they are. It says $16.98 and with 70% off, it did come out to $5, but I'm not exactly sure I'm about that life. And I like these little kitchen organizers. They're in the clearance section also for 70% off, but I'm gonna see how much they really are when I go to the thing and check the price. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this here till I get my waters and then I'll get back with you and let you know what I found. So yeah, I'm caught in the tra Target trap yet again. I came in here for, as you know, my waters, but I found a couple of cute things on clearance. This was on clearance and I spoke to a manager about those items that I found for 70% off and she said that somebody just easily switched the tag. Okay, I know there's not a lot of innocent people in the world, but really, who's going to walk around and switch a tag to 70% off and then have to go through the hassle of proving it when they get to the front? Really? I highly doubt anybody, I highly doubt anybody turned to sign 70% off. I wouldn't do it, and I don't know anybody else that would do it. So, so I found it. Here's the water that we're picking up today. It's supposed to be, there is a really good deal on it. So they're two for eight, which really makes them like $4 a piece. But um, like I said, there's a 25% off Cartwell app. So you're gonna pay, when you ring them all up, it's gonna come up to $16. Then after you use the Cartwell app, and I have a $5 gift card, I'm only gonna pay $7 out of pocket. So $7 for four cases of water, I could dig that. That makes about $1.73 a piece, that's what she said. I can work with that. And then, with that being said, I still get back another $5 gift card. So it means I could do this transaction more than once, but I'm only gonna do it once. Yeah, so I'm gonna get it, guys. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Welcome back. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. And I had a lot on my mind this morning. It seemed like today's been one of those days where I've been extremely busy um, mentally. Like, you have a lot of thoughts and you don't know how to get them all out. So, today, I'm going to try a new 21-day challenge. I'm going to challenge myself to take an hour every day for me. Just quiet, turn off my phones, turn off the TV, unless TV is what I want to do for that hour, and just give myself peace and me time. I used to do it all the time and then I stopped. So I'm seriously contemplating going back and trying this as a 21 day challenge and hopefully it will stick so that way I'll have more mental peace. And I'm on my way into my office building. I'll give you a shout later. Just wanted to let you know what was going on for my morning for today. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Excuse my throat. It's Thursday morning, and I'm about to get ready for work. But before I get ready for work, I have to have my smoothie. I'm trying to decide what I'm feeling today. Yesterday, I had packed up some bananas because I realized I had used all the bananas that were left in here. So I think I'm going to have bananas in my smoothie. And what else? Like we have a freezer full of fruits. Mostly we have fruits all at the top of the freezer and then miscellaneous at the bottom. What's this? Oh, I have some veggies at the top. So yeah, my brother and I are very serious about this smoothie life lately. So every morning I start off with a smoothie and it's been working out really great. The only concern I have like yesterday, I only moved my bowels once. I'm going to lean up here for a quick second. I only moved my bowels once. And I know that's like TMI. But when you're watching your weight and making sure that you're trying to make sure that you're getting rid of toxins and that your body's doing what it's supposed to do, 
one bowel movement and when you don't have a bowel movement or if you only have one bowel movement it's rather like okay what's going on and you even scope your bowel you'd be like okay was that a good one uh what's in there so i'm gonna do some raspberries today with my bananas and i'm filling the pineapples i don't want to do any more strawberries because <clears throat> little known fact that like everybody else know i'm slightly allergic to strawberries but i kind of been forcing myself to eat them anyway because i have a slick addiction for strawberries but i'm very much um allergic to them and I, I started breaking out the other day like my back is very very irritated and my top shoulders are irritated so that means it's time for me to take a chill on those so um, we have cantaloupe and cantaloupe has been doing really, really well in the smoothies. And I don't even know what's the nutritional facts for cantaloupe in my smoothie, but it tastes so good. And I don't use sweeteners in my smoothie. So I try to make sure that the fruits I use are ripe and, you know, gonna blend well with the others it's, and the kale. And we use the rest of these grapes because there's only a few in there. I normally don't, you heard that, you heard that, that was my cantaloupe falling to the floor. Thank God they're in Ziploc baggies. We, um, every Sunday we go to Sam's Club and purchase all our, this right here, that's teen queen life. So when my assistant comes over today, hopefully we'll get rid of this, but this is more the reason why I'm saying I need someone to come in and organize my home because whew, it's all supposed to be in the storage and the storage that we rented anyway. But in the meantime, it's here and it looks like. But yeah, what I was saying is every Sunday, my brother and I, we go to Sam's Club to get our stack up. So we'll buy a big thing of kale, big thing of spinach, um, all our fruits. And then he breaks down all the fruits into little Ziploc baggies. So if anybody has Ziploc baggies and y'all want to send them my way, let me know because we gladly accept them. And you think it's funny. It's really not. It's also serious. So yeah, he breaks them down in the Ziploc baggies while I'm doing my weekly meal prep. That's something that I've gotten into. I fell off at one point, but it's such a convenience to come home, know your meal is already prepped, take it out, throw it in the microwave. It gives you time to really focus on what you're putting in your meal instead of what is quick to cook. So um, this week we had, I'm a beef liver eater. I, I love it because my mom got us hooked on it. Let me see if I can set this up here. Nope, it's going to come out dark. No, I can't do that either. So, we eat beef liver around here. I'm turn. Yeah, that's better. I'm a beef liver eater. My home is a beef liver eater. So, we eat beef liver here. So, for Sunday, we had beef liver and onions. Kind of do it in a stew. Um, brown rice and veggies. I can't remember what the veggie was. It was probably string bean. Because I made like this enormous can of string bean. I think it was two cans of string beans. And then, I used that for my meals throughout the week. So we had that for Sunday. Monday, I had honey mustard baked pork chops, which are so good. Um, you kind of bread them in Parmesan, sprinkle it with a little veggie cheese. Love that. We had that with sweet mashed potatoes and string beans. On for Tuesday's meal, we had stuffed peppers with brown rice, turkey meat, mushrooms, and I like put an egg in mine because I love the taste of the egg and it really holds everything together and that also had veggie cheese in it. Um what did we have? So that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I prepared uh turkey meat turkey and ground beef chili with um red kidney beans and brown rice and for tonight's meal it would be chicken baked chicken. I baked off a whole chicken <clears throat> with brown rice and I want to say corn. One of the other meals had corn too. So let me go ahead and make my shake because it's already, I mean my smoothie, it's already almost eight o'clock and I have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be at work today. I'm trying to get there like 
9 30 10 o'clock no rush because i have to work this weekend so um basically i'll be making my hours up this weekend and friday night because i know i no tonight as a matter of fact i have to go back up to the job because i have some i have a client starting tonight so yeah i'm gonna make my smoothie get ready for work and i'll talk to you in a few Hey guys welcome back to the queen suite this is danette um it's friday and it's the last day of my journey with you before i edit and vlog today i just well edit this vlog and post it for you to see tomorrow because tomorrow's vlog update yesterday i was gonna put up a review of clean corp well their actual review is for next week but i was gonna put up a review of what i read about their company so far then i thought about it i was like you know i really want to put it all in one video so that way it'd be nicely put together very well informative so i had decided against putting up anything yesterday instead of giving you something shabby i decided let's not do anything at all um if you notice that i'm not looking at the camera is because i'm in my car and i'm on my way to storage i don't know if you can see back here but this is how teen queen begins like we get a lot of donations we get a lot of everything school supplies clothing and we're so grateful hygiene supplies thank you to all of you that are watching that have helped us grow this inventory however now i have to take it to storage because i have no room for it in my house so i'm gonna give you an inside look into our storage um for all of those that may be thinking, ah, that's a little risky giving people a look into your storage, you're not gonna know the address of my storage. You're gonna look inside my storage and really there's nothing in there worth value other than school supplies, hygiene supplies, and clothing. And if you're that desperate to steal from my girls, you don't know my team. Let me let you know in advance. And you very may you very may well need it, but honestly, you don't know my team. You don't wanna do that. Um Plus, how would you get in there? I don't even want to think about the possibilities. Like I said, I'm going to give you a look into our storage as I put up some of this stuff and reorganize our storage. And then I'm going to take you on a little bit of a shopping spree at Kroger because I need to pick up some veggie cheese. Make a California pizza for myself because no one is home with me. And, oh, a, a cauliflower pizza. I don't know why I keep saying California pizza. I'm making cauliflower pizza today. And um, yeah, just... Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you an inside of our storage and take you shopping. Okay guys, so this is our storage. I didn't think we needed like a hella big storage, but let me show you what's inside and you'll see I was sadly mistaken. Um, I would take you for a little tour on the inside, but it wouldn't make any sense because I'm sure we don't want to see boxes. You would like to see what's inside the boxes, and I'm not unpacking it. But yeah, I'm going to be working on this for the next five minutes, so you can watch me organize and unorganize and just try to get it, get this stuff out my house, out my car, and into here.
Uh, these are just a few of the things I've already picked up. I picked up one green bell pepper because I like green bell peppers on my pizza. I picked up some mushrooms. One, because they were on sale. Two, look how beautiful they are. I love mushrooms on my pizza too. These are also great for burgers. Like, I don't know. You grind them up, mix them with some black beans. Mix them with some black beans and other fresh herbs and veggies and make you a good garden burger. That's good. I picked up two packs of plates because we always need plates. And I'm looking at this sign. Um, buy 10 or more of these Gatorades. And these are the big Gatorades. These are 32 fluid ounces. 32 fluid ounces. Buy 10 or more and get them at 59 cents each. And we love Gatorade like we live on Gatorade. Especially in the summertime. So I'm going to pick up 10. I'm going to pick up 10. I did just pick up some Gatorade, but it was the smaller ones. From Sam's. And those really don't last that long. So let me get 10 of these. They don't really have a variety of flavors. Well, you know, I'm a red kind of girl. That's 10. This is like a great deal. I almost want to pick up 20 because like, what you would pay for 20? $13, almost $14 for 20, for 20 ounces. That's not bad because the ones I picked up from Sam's Club were 12 ounces and I paid, I want to say we got 24. I'm, I'm almost positive we got 24. So we got 24. 12 ounces of Gatorades and I pay $11. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up 20 and I'll be right back. Look at all the nice supply of organic foods and wholesome foods that Kroger is carrying now. Even some that's on a really good sale. I just picked up some waffles. I just picked up these waffles. And then whole grain brown rice. Looking at this. This is handcrafted bacon mix. It's whole grain, gluten free, no gum and fillers, old fashioned chocolate chip cookie mix. Oh, that's what's up. It's on sale for $2.59 and there's a dollar off coupon right on it. So for $1.59, I can make cookies that are really, really good for you. And these are some of the ingredients on the back. Oh, nine grams of sugar for how many cookies? Two cookies. Service side is two tablespoons. That's not bad. I'm gonna get this because maybe he'll be able to eat these cookies. But a dollar off coupon, dollar fifty nine. I can deal with that. Oh, I can work with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick up the rest of my things because as you can see, I picked up way too much already. And these aren't the things that I've come for. Also, guys, when you're shopping, do you use Ibotta? I use Ibotta and Ibotta has a sale right now on those same waffles. As a matter of fact, for buying those waffles, I get a dollar back. So it's going to be $1.69 for those waffles. I finally made it back in from shopping. It's like after 8 o'clock at night. So the cauliflower pizza will not be done tonight. But I just wanted to give you a quick look on what I purchased and give you the updates on the prices and how much I spent overall. So here I purchased two of the Kroger brand. Um, I think their brand is like, oh, P-S-S-T, like pst. So I purchased two of their phone plates at 30 plates in each packet for $1. The house or tree sweet yellow cornbread mix was on sale for 40 cents um the regular price was let me see let me look at the receipt i don't remember what the regular price was sure didn't look at that in the store and i'm hoping they put the regular price on here they may not have no, they didn't. Three cents a piece. And we picked up some last week also. And we use cornbread a lot, especially when I do my food sales. So I figured it was a good time to pick some up. Thanksgiving's going to be coming sooner than you know. And these expire May 16th of next year. So the ones that we picked up last week, they expire the end of November, which gave us just in time for thanksgiving and we plan on using all the ones we picked up for thanksgiving and or with food sales and we'll be using these you know the rest of the time probably christmas or easter or if we don't use them out before then because i think we only got like 10 boxes and really cornbread goes with every meal oh my gosh so 
you see my mountain of play text here so these were the combo packs um last week when i went to the store sorry about the glare last week when we went to the store we saw them on sale but there weren't any in the store they are originally 7.49 for this pack i did see that and it comes with 28 unscented tampons 16 regular 12 super and they also come with liners it's a combo pack this pack was 7.49 we paid today a dollar 62. i bought six packs uh, i don't know if you can see the rest there don't mind my fruits and veggies right there. I tend, have a tendency to leave them on the table. And that right there is just all wrong. Like, <laughs> don't mind my fruit bowl and all the stuff right there. But anyway, so they were they were two sixty two in the store. Sorry about the glare. But I paid $1.62 because on my Kroger card, my, you know, they have a points reward kind of card. I already had some e-coupons downloaded on there, which was, I have four of them. So for four of these boxes, I paid a dollar sixty-two. For the other two, I paid I paid two sixty-two, which is still a good price. As there are a combo pack, which is originally seven forty-nine. I did not have any paper coupons at home. I did come home to check because if I did have coupons, I could always take my receipt and my coupons back to customer service to get the adjusted price. And I brought that up because look at what I did here. I rang out and forgot to take the coupon off. So I'm going to be taking this coupon back tomorrow to get my dollar off. And these cookies will be a dollar 49. Let me do that now before I forget. So all I have to do is just bring back the coupon with my receipt and they'll adjust it at the customer service desk for a quick second. Those chocolate chips almost freaked me out. I can tell you, you look at the B on the front that you see chocolate chips. Yeah, I thought that was a bother. So, um, also I picked up one of the Kroger mozzarellas. I was going for the veggie cheese, but the veggie cheese was $3.99. And I don't have $3.99 for a pack of veggie cheese, which is about the same size as this. This was $2.39. Um, I really, really did want the veggie cheese, but I'll do the mozzarella part skin mozzarella for this cauliflower pizza <laughs> cauliflower pizza that I'll be making this week as you know I picked up the mushrooms they were $1.89 for these portobello mushrooms whatever I don't use on my pizza I'll probably use in a sauteed dish um, in my meal prep for tomorrow I'm hoping to record it tomorrow and then if I do record it guys it's going to be a, a late upload because I'm naturally going to put it in my weekly vlog okay I'm not going to make a separate video for it. Um, this green bell pepper was 50 cents. Bands waffles, they were $2.69. I have a dollar off. I bought a rebate. A dollar, I bought a rebate. So these will be $1.69. You know, my mountain of Gatorade. These were originally 10 for 10. But if you purchased... That's crazy. They were originally 10 for 10, but if you purchased 10, they were 69 cents a piece for every 10 that you buy. You had to buy 10 in order for it to be 69 cents. So I bought 20. And my total purchase today came out to, let's see if you can see that. Total purchase was 42.02. My total savings was $11.90 in coupon savings. The manufacturer coupon savings four dollars. I didn't use any manufacturer coupons. I'm assuming that's the e-coupons. Store coupon and Kroger savings seven dollars and ninety cents. And I'm about to have another dollar back from this when I take it back tomorrow, and then I have the dollar back for that. So it'll be a forty dollar trip. I think. I mean, this is not my best haul because I am a couponer in my past life, but for what I got. I think everything that I got was a really good deal. So yeah, this may be the end of my vlog, guys. I'm not exactly sure how tomorrow is going to run. Um, tomorrow's Saturday. I'm supposed to upload my vlog for tomorrow and I was planning on editing tonight. So if all else fails, it'll be a late upload tomorrow and you will get to see my cauliflower pizza. And I stopped by Burger King because I want to try these macaroni and Cheetos. <laughs>